The Lonely Road to Leveling Up. So in today's video, I um, just kind of wanted to sit down and talk about the title of this video. Um, just have a lot of different thoughts coming to mind within the concept of leveling up about how people that I've talked to recently um, I'm here in Mexico uh, I do this men's circle here every week where a bunch of guys talk about things that typically guys don't have other people to talk about with so quite a blessing um, to be able to have that opportunity um, to put together something like that and create that for some people as well as myself ultimately um ultimately meaning like it helps me a lot too um anyways it is a long road to leveling up long lonely road what i mean by that is there are so many people that i talk to so many new friends that i've made um that are into this concept of bettering themselves into self-improvement, into um, no fap, all of this stuff. Um, I've, I've been making a lot of these new connections lately. And reflecting back on the past several years of my life, like it's been like five years of just me in my room, brainwashing myself with all this information, reading books, um, really just like trying to download, 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 download. And simultaneously, I was kind of running away from all this pain and all this trauma that I re later realized when I got into this field of work. Um, but I was just suppressing. And so I, find, I, find, I think it's quite beneficial uh, to discuss as men um, that this, this path of getting your shit together, getting yourself right, becoming the best person you could possibly be. Um, you know, in, in theory, it sounds like, fuck yeah. Let's watch these YouTube videos. Let's, um, let's, let's get it going. Let's, let's hit the gym every day. And then you do that for a while. Then you hit this like, either like this plateau or like this state of burnout or like this deep, deep, deep self-doubt. And then you pull yourself out of it again. You're on top again. Go back down. Just this this daily, you gotta pay the rent daily. That's, that's ultimately what it is. I've been dealing with a little bit of that lately where I just like, I've been fo so focused on building this brand um, man, I, one of the things that I have always wanted to do is build a YouTube channel to a hundred K like since I was, I mean, I've been on YouTube for like over 10 years, ever since I was younger. Um, if you're watching this and you're kind of a newer subscriber, you probably haven't seen my old, old videos, but like maybe there's a few people who still watch, um, these newer videos and they're like, yeah, yeah. I remember how you were before, but it's like day and night difference to all these fucking characters that I played on YouTube. Like this person that I am portraying right now is finally feeling like the person that I've authentically become. Like this, this feels like the raw, unfiltered Albert, and it feels it feels great. It feels great for myself. But that aspect of Overcoming that it's okay to be lonely along the path. Man, I I realized that there are there are the, there's these phases when you when you finally decide to get it together and get yourself on the path and um, moving towards your vision and all this. There's these phases where it's kind of like if I was to map it out, phase one is sort of like the acceptance phase you're kind of like okay got to keep it real with myself got to own up to the fact that i can't i can't live this way anymore i got to i got i got things to do you know like i am getting older 23 now personally um 
some people are like, you're 23, dude. Relax. Relax. No, motherfucker. <laughs> Got no time to waste. Um, but yeah, so what happens? Phase one is like this realization phase, this acceptance phase. Phase two is you start realizing, yeah, I probably won't be able to keep around maybe my my relationship or these friendships that I have or these people that I'm trying myself with. Because actually, okay, between that phase, there's this aspect of you start having these epiphanies, you start going through this like awakening. And then you just want to you want to go hero mode. You want to go save the town, be your hometown's Batman, deliver the news on how, how to save everybody. And then you're kind of telling people everything you learn. And people are like, uh-huh, uh-huh, that's cool. That's cool. Wow, good for you. But, you know, in one ear, out the other, they don't really give a shit. Um, and you get frustrated and you're like, well, part of the reason why I wanted to do all this and learn so much of this information was to help the people around me, but they're not even listening to me. And so the next phase of that is filtering. You kind of just accept the fact that um, not only are certain people that are in your life that will never actually understand your path, but there's this level of People, people want to see you thrive as long as you thriving is not a threat to their current state. Meaning that this low vibration energy loves to keep you in that low vibration energy. Why? Because we're, we're a team. We're a team, right? We're, we're supposed to do it together. But team's got no captain every everybody's still on this free-for-all this is this is like this um brainwashed music that we're listening to within rap and pop culture and all this stuff is like yeah it's it's a it's a free-for-all but you're you're acting like it's like i got your back i got your back like all this stuff <laughs> so this is why i'm kind of making videos to be honest part of the reason at least Main reason is I actually feel like I have the ability to to um, share a message that can help the world. And I mean, that's the ultimate reason is I, I've felt that for so long, but so many people wouldn't listen. So even if like, I don't know, 50 to 100 people watch my videos all the way through, if you're still watching this, hey, what's up? Um, so yeah, man, you got to realize that there are these phases of um, different tests that will happen along the way. And eventually, you're just going to manifest like... Manifest. Yes, manifesting is real. Um, you're going to manifest your ideal social circle, your ideal partner, your ideal female. Whatever you want to manifest, your, your ideal job, all this. As long as you don't fall into these bullshit traps that like... These, these people that these people these energies is I think is beyond people. I think it's like this this collective like matrix energy. They they just want to keep you stuck. Every time you level up, it's like, okay, I gotta feel guilty. I'm going back. Man, this microphone is great for mapping things out. But um, yeah, if you're gonna take anything from this video, understand that it's part of the process. You you're not. You're not just alone on this process. You got to realize that the people, the environments, the situations that you'd like to create in your life, they will come into play because the the like meeting the like, real recognizing real, whatever you want to label it as, there there's this gravitational pull towards that. And so the more natural you become, with resonating with that higher self, the more that it becomes this like state of flow that starts to open up these new spectacular pathways. So stay healthy, stay well. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.